Oh, that's a good throw. That's a stud. Oh my gosh, it's a monster. How's everybody doing today? My name is Nathan Spouts, and if you're new here, I make fishing videos chasing big fish all over the Midwest. And today we are back at the flooded park chasing after some monster pike. If you guys have seen some of the previous videos, we've caught some absolute gigantic fish in this flooded area of the Mississippi River. If you like content like this, feel free to like the video and subscribe because who knows, I could be fishing in your city next if you live in the Midwest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna switch to a few different baits today. I wanna try some spinner baits and I also wanna throw some really big glide baits. We're gonna catch some fish. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for some monster fish catches and let's get started. Oh, that was a huge pike. Followed it, but never ate it. Oh, that was one right there. Followed it in. You can kind of see his swirl right there. It's the second fish in two minutes. It's followed it in, just not eating it. Is that a dogfish? Yeah, it is. All right, first fish is a dog. I'll take it. Little dog. The colors on these fish are just incredible. Look at that. Wow. Great looking fish. I mean, just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking fish. And she's gonna go right back in the water. And there she goes. Awesome. Don't usually catch many of them, so I'm always happy to get one. Smack the bait right here. Good first fish. I'll definitely take it. I've seen a couple big pikes so far, but they did not want to commit. This one absolutely did. I am twitching this bait super, super slow, giving these fish more than enough time to hammer it. Look at this presentation. Doesn't that look amazing? We're gonna keep casting and catch some more fish. All right. Get a nice long cast down there and get back up here. That fish chomped it. Awesome. Keep doing these slow twitches. They seem to like it. Any luck down there? No. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a good throw. That's a stud. Oh my gosh, it's a monster. Holy cow. Look at that. Hammered that bait. Look at how big this thing is. Holy cow, this thing is a stud. All right, guys. I'm gonna release on it. And there she goes. She was ready to go off. Unreal. First pike of the day is an absolute monster. Absolutely unreal. That is in the freaking park. <laughs> unreal. Absolutely unreal. All right. Let's get back out here. Do some more casts and catch another fish. Unreal. Just can't even get over it. I mean, Mondo like that, just chilling in a flooded park. The fish was ginormous. All I'm doing is just twitching this thing, taking this bait caster and just turn it just like this. It makes the bait go back and forth. I think the best thing you can do when it's super clear like this is not be right next to the shoreline because as soon as I moved up, I started catching fish. 
had a few come in and chase me when I was closer to the water. But if you're too close to the water and those fish come close to the shoreline and get ready to eat and they see you, they're gonna get spooked off. So standing up here, they won't be able to see you as easily. Should really help catch some more fish. That fish hammered it though. I mean, it just, it didn't inhale it. It smacked it. Just twitching it back and forth and all of a sudden, boom. There we go, there we go. Another big pike. There we go. Get your head down. Oh, you're not as big as I thought. Barely hooked though. All right guys, another nice fish. Definitely not as big as that last one, but it's a good fish. I'd say maybe 24, 25 inches. And get you back in the water, my friend. Oh. And there she goes, living to see another day. What is that, like five minutes after that last big one? Piled up in here. Tons and tons of big fish. And they're aggressive. We're gonna keep fishing. That's a big one. <laughs> Hammered it, but got him on the side. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Holy cow, that is a beauty. Another monster, just going back in the water. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, it is safe to say this spot is loaded. This is unreal. That is three big fish today. I mean, it's like this flooded area is just unreal. Absolutely unreal. They're hammering this little glide bait, throwing this thing super, super slow, giving it some nice twitches back and forth. And they're absolutely chomping it. We're gonna keep going, guys. We're gonna keep fishing and we're gonna catch some more. That fish was hooked on the side of its face. So not really counting that one as a catch because it wasn't in the mouth itself which it definitely wasn't foul hooked, I would consider. It didn't accidentally get hooked. I'm sure it was trying to eat it, but ended up just hitting on the side of the face, which isn't that surprising when you're using a glide bait that's going like this constantly. Pretend this is the bait right here going back and forth, and this is the fishy. Back and forth, boom, hits it, boom, hits it, doesn't get it in the mouth. It happens quite often when you're fishing glide baits like this because they come up to eat it, then all of a sudden I twitch my bait again and smacks them on the side of the face, smacks them somewhere on the body. Because my bait's constantly moving in different directions. It's not going in the same straight line. It's going like this, it's going like this. That's what makes these baits so unique. Because it's not always straight. It's not like a swim bait, it's not like anything like that. It doesn't have a straight action. So I twitch it like this, it goes all the way that way. Sometimes it'll only kind of peek out that way. There's never the same action with a glide bait. Just all depends on how you're twitching it because you can twitch it like this where it just slowly goes back or you can do some nice big long twitches which shoot out and shoot back this way and shoot back that way so it's not that surprising and then a fish comes in and it hits him in the side of the face because this bait is constantly moving in different directions we're gonna keep on keeping on and catch another big one today has been an unreal day definitely one of the best days of fishing i've had in my life Big girl. There we go. 
Come on, stay down. It's fighting a little weird. Ah, it's a big girl. Another good looking fish. There we go, guys. Absolute beauty. Hammered the glide bait. She's gonna go right back where she belongs. See you later. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Another good looking fish. Today is just one of those days where we're just hammering them. We're gonna keep fishing. That last one fought insane. I mean, it was just pure weight. It's kind of weird though. I mean, like it wasn't even a fight. It was just weight. Almost made me think it was a walleye. Felt like I was reeling in a log. I really wonder how many big pike are right in front of us right now. There's gotta just be a ton of them. They've gotta be just loaded up in here. What? Did it bite you off? Was it a big one? Cast at it again. Oh no. That's hooked really good. Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one out. Well. Oh no way. I got it back. Wasn't expecting that. I'm in awe that I just got this bait back. I thought this was over. I thought bait's gone. It's a gift from God. I have the bait back. Thank you, God. Thank you for retrieving my beautiful bait. Amen. Had to give it a few kisses for good luck. Wow. <sighs> well, the glorious glide bait is gone. The absolute fish catching machine is somewhere out there. So we are gonna have to throw on something different and I'm hoping this something different still catches some fish. This is my idea for the bait for right now. A little sunfish color swim bait. I think it'll do the trick. I mean, it looks gorgeous. As you can see, I have already caught quite a few pike on it this week. So we know it catches fish, and I think this is perfect for today. If they're aggressive, they're gonna eat it. Let's do some casts. $100 in swim baits and glide baits, gone in one day. Unreal. Probably over 100 actually. I've lost, we've lost probably $120 worth of baits today. We, bought, we lost everything we bought yesterday. Two $40 uh, glide baits this morning. Oh boy. Yeah, we spent 100 yesterday. All those baits are already gone. One right there, two, three right there, and then a couple somewhere in there. <laughs> Almost just cast that one in a tree too. I gotta stop losing baits in trees. It's becoming a serious financial problem for me. Okay, like, these trees are out to get my bank account. Jumping and spitting. Big girl. He's walking towards me now. Come on in here, buddy. Man, 
all these fish have bite marks or something on them. No, nope, you're not taking that lure. He took the lure. Okay. What do I want to throw today? No. I might toss the rat around a little bit later tonight. What are we feeling like? I'm out of glide baits. I'm out of swim baits. No. It's a sad day. I've got this one left, but sadly it's missing a tail. I suppose, what should we throw? I'm having a hard time deciding today. I mean, I'm, I'm out of all my good baits. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. We might have to make a quick run to Fleet Farm and grab some more. There you go. Yeah. Big one? Really? What is that, like three casts for you? Yeah. Nice. I'll grab the players. Nice. Nice, good first fish, it's a stud. What was that on, glide? Oh. Little artificial bluegill. Players? Yeah, I got it. Come here, buddy. Little one. All right, buddy. Not the size I'm after. Gonna go right back in the water. Just a little baby. Just a little baby. Hammer the glide bait, though. It's like half the size of the fish. I'm gonna give this swim bait a try. See if anything wants. This nice little juicy white swim bait. I wanna see what the action is. Slow sinking, I like that. Why is it spinning in circles? Am I doing something wrong here? I don't think so. Yeah, why is it spinning in circles? There we go. No, nope, it's still spinning in circles. There we go. Man, that thing looks nice. Hammered it, missed it. Missed the hook. Must have ate the tail. And we're back to big glide baits. This bait right here is gonna catch a monster. I mean, look at how gorgeous this thing looks. Let's see it in the water. Oh boy. Oh man, that looks absolutely Gorgeous. My guess is cast number 11 is going to be the ticket. Let's see.
Nope, cast number two. Yep, second cast in. Okay, um, Largy on the massive glide. Okay. Yeah, on the big glide, not at all what I was expecting. This fish is literally the exact same size as this bait. That is unreal. That's crazy, I mean, look at this thing. Compared to the size of the fish, it is the exact same size almost. But I'm not gonna complain. Hungry bass is a hungry bass. Maybe today is just one of those multi-species days. Who knows, all I know is this bait definitely works. Let's get another cast. Let's catch something a little bit bigger. It's nice to catch a bass though. Something different, that is for sure. Usually they're all pike or maybe the occasional dogfish. But a bass, that is a unique catch for sure. I just keep hooking bottom. Dude, I think the, I think the reason I keep hooking bottom is because the water is so much lower. This is where it was before yesterday. yesterday. This was yesterday, it was up to this line here. I mean, look, think about how much higher up that is. That's like four feet. I got hit on it yesterday. You were ready to hook at the tail. I'm little. Wish I had a beaver bait. Yeah. Miles would just start throwing random things for the heck of it. If there's enough fish here, who cares? My dad got some big musky bait he can throw. Oh, nice. Now this bait right here, this is a fish catching machine. I'm gonna put it to work. And we're gonna catch something big on it. It is a wake bait, so you're supposed to reel it on the top of the water, but I'm gonna reel it under the water. Cause why not? If there's a big enough pike in here, I don't think it's gonna care too much. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, I did reel it on the top and got hit on top water. It was a little bit later tonight. There's a lot of muskrats around here. This could be mistaken for a muskrat. Whatever eats this thing is gonna be an absolute monster. It's gotta be a big fish. This is the perfect spot to use it too, because there is a lot of gigantic fish in here. I'm starting to lose hope in the rat. What? I'm starting to lose hope in the rat. I, don't think, I just don't think it's gonna do it. I just want to catch one on it so badly. It's unreal. What the heck was that? Got him. There we go. Not a bad fish either. No, not at all. Oh, he's barely hooked right in the bottom lip. Oh, there's just one little hook in him. Look at that, folks. Nice one on. The super, super small little swim bait. Absolutely gorgeous fish. We're gonna get it right back in the water. Give it a couple seconds, let her get the <laughs> breath back. <laughs> and there she goes. Awesome. Couple casts into this small little swim bait. Sure enough, we got one to eat. That is awesome. Good looking fish for sure. I mean, this spot is just, I can't get over it. This spot is absolutely unreal monster monster fish in a super super small flooded area all righty i would say that is a great fish to end on i would say that was somewhere around 30 32 inches absolute beauty and i'm thinking we're gonna call it a video i hope you guys did enjoy the video like i said feel free to like the video and subscribe if you like content like this there are a few more 
flooded videos coming here soon before this water is back to normal. It is slowly starting to drop down as you guys can see where the water line was. So it's starting to drop back down, but I'm still gonna pop out a few more videos for you guys. It's new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. Today was just unreal. I mean, we caught so many massive, massive fish. This is by far one of the best, if not the best day of fishing in my life. That big pike we caught is a definite PB for me. So that's a good thing. And we caught a whole bunch of other big ones. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.